Hey everyone, David Saad here from skygems.ca. Thank you so much for joining me. I have for you an absolutely stunning 10.62 carat IGI certified unheated sapphire from Ethiopia. The gem has a inscription on the girdle for security purposes and is really something special. As you can see it going around on the turntable here, the color is second to none. To get this kind of color in an unheated stone is, is almost unheard of. You know, 10 carats plus with this kind of color, it is a really, really impressive piece. And as it's going around, you can see wonderful stone. You can also see there are some eye visible inclusions in it. When we have this kind of color saturation, we can, you know, we often get that. I do want to pause this and, and show you the gem a little bit. If you are in the Toronto area and would like to come by, take a look at this gem, please email me or reach me via the website, skygems.ca. I'd love to have you in. Uh, we are by appointment only though, so please do be sure to book an appointment. Um, if you have questions, comments, you can also email me at davesod at gmail.com or reach me via the website. This particular stone, uh, as it's going around again, gonna get back to the gem here. This particular stone, as I said, incredible, incredible color to it. Uh, as it's going around, you see it's a, it's a real stunner. This is going to make an incredible piece of jewelry. What I really like about sapphires and, you know, kind of the mythology around sapphires and the legend around sapphires is that um, cross-culturally, sapphires have been in the crowns and headdresses and breastplates and whatnot of kings and queens and emperors and empresses all over the world uh, from Europe to Asia, Indian subcontinent, into Africa. And the really interesting thing about it is almost all of them have the same story behind them. And that is that sapphires are calming and, uh, you know, give you, give you wisdom and, and, are, and are calming and, and make one uh, not quick to anger, which is, which is really something that I think is, you know, it's a wonderful thing to have and it's a, it's a wonderful thing to have in a ruler for sure. It's also a nice thing uh, to have in a marriage. So stones like this, I, I think this would make a wonderful engagement ring. This particular gem, I would just want to do a Princess Diana, you know, kind of simple classic look. There's a reason they call them classics. I mean, I know a lot of times people are saying, no, I want something different, different, different. But there's a reason they call them classics. Uh, if you're going to get a little too crazy, sometimes, you know, people will come to me, you know, eight, ten years later and say, all right, so I had this made, you know, incredibly in an incredibly contemporary setting ten years ago, but now it looks a little dated. So, and there's a difference between contemporary and... Um, you know, you have, to, you have to realize there's a difference between contemporary and, and just custom. So you can make something very different and, and end up with something that doesn't age. But a lot of the time, if you're going to go in the style of the day, it does look dated in, you know, 10 or 15 or 20 years. Where with a Princess Diana style ring, you know, with a halo, or if you just put a couple of diamonds, you know, one on either side, go with a classic design, they never really age. And uh, you end up with a piece that looks like it could have been made, you know, yesterday or a hundred years ago, and and you don't know. So I now have the gem in a pair of tweezers, and can, you can kind of get to take a look a little bit more. I said when it was on the turntable before that it does have inclusions in it that are eye visible. I'm going to take you on a little bit of a tour of those. You can see them very well from the back. Take a look at this, and that's where you can really see all of the inclusions through the gem. I do like to be sure that I show people all the parts of a gem. That's the reason that my videos are, you know, three, four, five, eight, ten minutes long. Uh, a lot of the time you'll see people that'll, you know, make videos and they'll have a ten second video of a gem. You know, that it's just, oh, hey, here's my gem. Isn't it beautiful? Buy it, buy. Um, and they don't even, they won't even say that much, really, right? It's, uh, you know, just a quick 10 second video of a stone you don't really have a good idea of it you know that's not what I'm looking to do I want you to have a very good idea of what you're getting all gems look better in person but I want you to have a really good idea of what it looks like what it is so that when you get it you say oh my god it's so much more beautiful than I thought 
as opposed to saying, oh no, I, you know, I can't believe there's these inclusions in it, you know, and you look at it from the back because you never saw it from the back before, and you say, oh, this isn't really what I want. Look, everything for a price, and, and you know, everything kind of has a price. A gem like this, with this kind of color, if it was super clean, unheated, you're looking at 10, 15 times the price to get this kind of super, super rich, vivid saturation in a stone. I mean, it's, it's almost unheard of to get it in a 10 karat plus stone, you know, even more crazy, and then to get it in a 10 karat plus unheated stone, you're just not seeing it. So again, if you, if you don't know about prices, if you don't know about how rare these are, please go out, educate yourself a little bit. My best customer is an educated customer. If you don't know what prices are, if you don't know how rare these are, I don't really have any advantage. Um, you know, whether you're gonna go into it, you know, if you wanna go into a mall store or, or a retail jeweler, they're gonna tell you, you know, crazy prices on a, you know, 10 karat, really rich saturation stone. If you wanna go, you know, go online, see what people have online, see what other people have, because like I said, for me, I need you to be educated about what's, you know, what's out there, what's available and the prices because otherwise, like I said, I don't really have an advantage. So again, if you're in the Toronto area, I'd love to have you in. Please contact me via email or via the website to make an appointment. Uh, if you have any other questions, comments, please reach out to me. You can reach me at davesod at gmail.com or via the website skygems.ca. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and don't forget to tell your friends about skygems.ca so we can continue to bring more beautiful stones to wonderful people all around the world. Thank you. Bye-bye.